Unraveling language. Understanding, it's a minor flaw. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the beautiful world of the English language. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase that often pops up in conversations, books, and movies. It's a minor flaw. Stick around as we break down its meaning, usage, and nuances to help you master English communication. Whether you're a language learner or just curious, this video is for you. It's a minor flaw is a phrase that packs a lot of meaning into just a few words. At its core, this phrase is used to describe a small or insignificant problem or defect in someone or something. The keyword here is minor, which means small in size, importance, or degree. A flaw, on the other hand, refers to a blemish, fault, or imperfection. When we say something has a minor flaw, we're essentially saying that while it's not perfect, the imperfection isn't significant enough to be a major concern. Understanding how to use, it's a minor flaw, in context can greatly enhance your conversational skills. This phrase can be applied in various situations, from discussing products to evaluating performances or behaviors. Product reviews. When discussing a product, you might say, the only issue is the battery life. It's a minor flaw compared to all its features. Personal feedback. In giving feedback, you could use it to soften criticism. Your presentation was excellent. The only minor flaw was the pacing in the beginning. Self-reflection. It's also common in self-reflection. I know I'm not perfect. My tendency to worry is a minor flaw of mine. In each of these contexts, the phrase helps to acknowledge an imperfection without deeming it a deal-breaker. Embracing the concept of minor flaws is a healthy approach in both personal growth and in evaluating the world around us. Recognizing that nothing and no one is perfect allows for a more compassionate and realistic perspective. It's a minor flaw is not just a phrase but a mindset that encourages focusing on the bigger picture rather than getting hung up on small imperfections. We hope this exploration of, it's a minor flaw, enriches your understanding and appreciation of the English language. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about conveying ideas, emotions, and nuances. By mastering phrases like this, you're on your way to becoming a more effective and empathetic communicator. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the English language. Keep learning, and see you in the next video.